Hey folks, welcome to .NET Techie. Today I have taken very interesting topic, CRUD operation in Angular 5. So I'm gonna to show you insert update delete by using get post put delete in Angular 5. I have used web API and entity framework along with the Angular 5. So let's see what all components I have used over there. So components used in this tutorial is I have used a grid to bind up the data, model pop up to show the data and fill up the form, text box, drop down buttons, menu bar, reactive forms, their validation messages, almost everything, all basic things I have used in this project and try to demonstrate uh, this Angular 5 CRUD operation and the uh, HTTP client module I have uh, introduced over here which is little different from Angular 4 so please be careful and use it like this way so let me take you to the project how my project is looking so in the by end of the installation you are gonna to learn this this is my beautiful UI where I'm having home tab in the home tab uh, like I'm having a uh, this by default page over here which is loading all of my data in the inventory so it's like inventory management system where i have added new item update item delete item and so all the item this is like uh, i have given a, a link for dotnet techie tutorials where you can learn angular 5 angular 4 angular 2 so let me show you so end of this lesson how my ui will look for the add new item so let's say i'm gonna to add uh, let's say apple apple simla okay so let's see code apps quantity i want it 100 per unit price is let's say uh, 15 rupees and uh, just write apple mm, a select a category so what a beautiful this drop down is the moment uh, everything is filled up yeah. it's like uh, insert button is uh, showing up and enabled um, your beautiful validation is there where in all the required fields if you are not filling up it will do like this so i'm clicking on the insert operation see how smoothly and how quickly you have seen the message it has been inserted successfully and the message icon was really beautiful let's see apple similar has been inserted or not so let us go and check it over here so let me go over here and apple simla is the last center which i found over here okay fine let's see update how update can be done so let us take the example of this 30th and 30th is the last one which i have in inserted let's say i'm taking apple simla one and this price i'm reducing quantity i'm reducing to 90 and price i'm increasing to 25 increasing to 25 let's say update it yeah how smoothly and very quickly it has been updated and masses has gone so it has become apple simla 90 and 25 it has upgraded over here let me so delete over here so let's say i would like to delete the same one or any other one so let's say i want to delete let's say 30 only okay i'm saying delete it Don't for me so it has gone so this is what you are gonna to learn this is a menu bar in the menu bar click i am opening the pop-up different pop-ups and the controls and these are the controls so reactive form controls and validation has been done over here so this is all what i am using currently over here let me show you in the code how this crud operation i have achieved it first of all i would like to show you here i have created the uh, my inventory service and here is my inventory controller which is doing my job to talk as an entity framework uh, and uh, sql server so here is the get all the items method here is the put all item method and then post item method then dispose and uh, above that delete item method. this is my service restful service which is running over here in the browser so this is the is where my service is running okay so that was the part of the service which is getting managed by babe api and entity framework and ms sql server let's go to the angular code over here so this is my component so first of all in order to use these all these components i would suggest you just go to uh, go through this tutorial and include everything in your module.ts whatever the module so remember here you need to include the module not the component so it's a third party library prime ng where you just include the module 
import the, those module in the module section such as reactive forms http client module i have used for http restful call services this is growl module forms module data table modules all those stuff i have imported over here this is my app component dot ts where i have used those modules so menu item menu bar dialog forms modules message select item panel all those things i have used over here so let me show you where this all code is coming from so let's see step by step how it has been generated okay so let's talk about how this has been generated over here so just a quick uh, overview i will give so this is the menu menu items so let's go over here and i have uh, assigned to item one so item and uh, let's see where it is so on the ng on init i will be having that particular method where these are the item ones and i'm filling up this array these are the command which is asking me to open those particular dialog boxes to do the operation so add edit update and all delete dialog boxes it is opening for me so this is the menu of form here okay so I will collapse over here. Let me show you how I am doing the insert operation. So let's go to on insert method. The moment I come here, open this and click on this insert button over here, what happens? So let me explain to you guys. First of all, this is my insert form and I have used form group control. And in this uh, control, I am just reading the value of uh, my uh, form controls all the form controls and sending to babe api so this is my form control this is my form which is giving me the value this is my item particularly so item is a class for me and i have uh, created uh, assigned the value into the constructor this is masses to, uh, which growl method is coming for us and goes in two seconds and here i'm posting this to api url and item so on the body I am posting what is API URL over here? My API URL is 54964. 54964. Here is my API 54964, which is running over here. So so this is my API URL. Okay, let me see where it is okay so we were on the on insert part so we are here and it came over here and item i have sent it if it is error i am showing this message and error has occurred please try like and if it is success i'm just comparing whatever the name i have sent over there into the babe api that name is there or not that means if it is there we have uh, we have successfully inserted it and we are showing the message over here so this is about the insert part over here in the crud operation so this is how we have done let me show you the html of particular part so this crud operation html over here so i have written very nice and clean html where each and every part is coming to add new item html so it's the start insert form group on that submit on insert method we are calling over there and in that we have uh, given very nice controls their particular validations and all the uh, font awesome classes for different kind of things and these are the things uh, which we have given this is my html this is uh, the way to wind uh, my uh, drop down list as well and uh, so that it looks like this so this is my part okay let me show you so this is update part over here even I do have all items same whatever I am displaying in the landing page it is displaying over here so I hope it is uh, clear to you what I have done so I have uh, already told you what all the components I have used it and how I have used it if you are not familiar with how to use ng prime in uh, crud operation with angular 5 just watch my previous video where I told you how to use all these components and uh, if you are having my, any other doubt i uh, just comment on my this video i will try to explain that particular topic over here in this video moreover i will explain how this form and validation has been done in separately and so just request that and uh, how get post uh, put and delete is working over here so separately i will take a session for that and i will explain thanks for watching this 
அட் தேங்க்யூ பாய்